Welcome back to Viking Basketball with Tyler Geving as Portland State gets ready for a home game this week at the Stott Center. The Vikings going into that game on a bit of a losing skid have lost three in a row. And Coach, uh, I know you want to get things turned around before Big Sky Conference play starts. And as I look back at those three games, there's one uh, theme to, to uh, the losses, and that is the shooting hasn't been there. You started the season, uh, team shooting the ball really, really well. Uh, seems to have been a struggle the last three. Yes, it is. Uh, we, we've got to find a way to uh, make some perimeter shots, and I think as, as we do that, obviously it'll open it up a little bit more, you know, inside for Forte to get him a couple easier baskets. But, yeah, we, we haven't shot the ball particularly well. And I think the other thing that stands out, Mike, in those those games is, you know, we, we haven't done a very good job of protecting the basketball either. We had 18 turnovers the other night. Um, I want to say we had about 18 or 19 at Washington State, 18 at, against the uh, University of Portland. So we're finding a way of, you know, four or five possessions that we need to be able to eliminate, uh, you know, turnovers and, and find ourselves to get a better shot or more scoring opportunities as opposed to just giving the ball to the other team. So I think, you know, I, I think there's going to be nights where you just don't shoot it well. That's, that's just the way it goes. But I think every night you can protect the basketball. And, uh, you know, but also within those that, that losing streak, we're doing a very good job. We're still leading the league in field goal percentage defense. We're second or third in the league in rebounding margin. So we're doing a good job on, on that end. I think it's just more of a matter of cleaning up some execution and making sure we're taking care of the basketball. Okay, in those first five games, the Vikings averaging nearly 86 points. The last three down around 68 points. And, you know, I brought up shooting. You mentioned uh, ball handling as well. What kind of things do you guys do in practice, perhaps, to uh, try to improve in those areas? Well, right now we're just subbing you out if you make a turnover. I mean, we, we've got to do something. And, and that's kind of been the point of emphasis this week of, you know, a lot of our turnovers aren't necessarily caused by the, by the other team. A lot of them are just careless turnovers, whether it's just lax at days of coal or whatever. And I, and I understand there's going to be turnovers in the game. We're not going to be perfect, but, but we also can't have those five or six turnovers that we've been having that – uh, just lead to layups uh, the other way, or uh, that's five or six possessions. We're not getting a shot. So we've, we've just got to do a better job of valuing every possession. And uh, like I said, just been trying to put more of an emphasis on that this week in practice. Okay, the Vikings on Thursday night play Cal State Northridge right here at the Stott Center. That's a 7 o'clock tip-off if you want to come out and watch it. And Coach, talk a little bit about the Matadors, uh, what you're going to face, and maybe the keys for the Vikings to get a win. Yeah, I think, you know, first of all, I mean, they're athletic. And they do a very good job of uh, getting to the basket. They're, they're good penetrators. I know they're uh, possibly going to have about three more guys eligible that are uh, pretty good players. So I think that'll add a little little wrench into uh, what they're doing. But, I, you know, I think the, the main thing for us, and I just think every game in the preseason, it, you know, it's not so much about controlling the other team. It's about more about, hey, let's get better. Uh, at our own stuff, you know, we need to clean up, like I said, clean up the turnovers. We need to continue to defend. We need to continue to execute on the offensive end. So I think more so in the preseason, I think we, we probably spend more time worrying about ourselves and what we're going to do. And if we can do those things, then I, then I feel like we're going to give ourselves a chance to win night in and night out. Okay, and then the Vikings go on the road next week at CSU Bakersfield. And then on December 29th, they'll host Cal State Fullerton. And uh, those three games coming up, a good run up to conference? Yeah, they are. They're, they're, you know, all very good teams. You know, obviously with Northridge getting some guys eligible, they're better than what their record showed, and they've been in a lot of close games. Um, Bakersfield's off to a great start, 6-3, and three, and uh, got to go to their place. Uh, Cal State Fullerton's got a winning record in the preseason. So it's it's three really good games for us. And, and you know, like uh, I've told the team, I said, you know, we're maybe 3-5, and five, but I know nobody's really discouraged in there. It's not like everybody's ready to jump off the ledge. I mean, we're, we're right there, and we're doing a lot of good things on both ends of the of the ball so we, we, it's just a matter of cleaning up a few things and you know the kids attitudes are great we're doing a good job of sharing the ball and practices have been going well and I think everybody's just in the locker room a little frustrated that it hasn't resulted in a couple more wins but uh, the, but the main thing is we got upbeat attitudes and, and I, I think at the end of the day as long as we're doing that and we're practicing hard and the kids are buying into what we're saying then, then it'll turn for us. Okay, speaking of upbeat attitudes, it's that time of year. We're going to go off the board here for just, just a second. <laughs> the holidays are coming up. Christmas is next week. So I'm going to ask you a little question about Christmas. you got two young boys at home. It's got to be pretty exciting 
at Christmas right now at your house? Uh, it's it's awesome. It's, it's uh, as you know. I mean, watching them open up gifts on Christmas, I, I get more excited about that than what I. I don't even need a gift anymore, right? I think I'm at that age. I don't need anything. But now it's fun to watch you know a six and a four year old run around the house and be excited about Christmas and singing songs and. Uh, doing whatever they do as, as little kids, but really looking forward to that three-day break and spending some time with them. Okay, then, one last question. Can you remember what was your famous, fa- pardon me, favorite Christmas gift favorite, as a kid? Favorite Christmas gift? Uh, you know, probably anything that had to do with sports. I was so sports-oriented as a, as a kid. I think everything that we got, that we asked for as kids, was had something to do with sports, whether it was whatever, some type of game or clothes or whatever so um so that's the nice thing about having two boys that like sports so it's pretty easy for me to shop uh get on the mlb network or nfl or nba shop so i guess i'm kind of giving away what i'm giving the kids isn't it so all right we we won't we won't let them watch the video we won't let them watch the video uh portland state basketball this week thursday night cal state northridge all the information at govikes.com and then a couple more non-conference games over the holidays Uh, Cal State Bakersfield next week and Cal State Fullerton the following week back here at the Stott Center. Go to govikes.com for all the information.